Shield interference! Don't no, the shield down! down. Don't the shield. That's my man! I'm so sorry! Run it again! Hi guys, welcome back to NGN. I'm Julian here with Jeff Kanata, or should I say Jeff T. Kirk, because we just got done with the Star Trek VR experience. You had an important job, right? I did, I was in charge of weapons. I was the tactical officer. Uh, yeah. officer tactical we had to technician. fend off a, a Klingon attack a couple times. Tried to save some people. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna be honest, uh, lives were lost. Yeah. I don't. But I'm just not red shirt, right? Yes. But it's just a red shirt or two, which like they really. But lives count. were saved, and I think we should focus on the saving yeah, of lives. Yeah, no, this is the more important of the two. Right? <laughs> it's a net gain for humanity. Indeed. Right. Indeed. I was the uh, I was in, I was Shouty basically. I was the niece, the great niece of uh, Scotty. I was in charge of engineering. Yes. Shields. The lithium warp crystals. Drive. Funneling the lithium crystals. Warp yeah, the, power. To the warp coil. Captain. Yeah, and I'm yeah. giving her all she's got. You were giving I her all was. she. Had. And that's that's why lives were saved. Again, yes. coming back to what's important. But in terms of the VR experience itself, what were your thoughts on that? I'm convinced that Red Storm is on the right track in understanding that VR is going to be a social experience because it is so fun. A social experience in VR is so much fun to feel like you're in the same physical location with someone, communicating with the team, trying to work together. This is wish fulfillment of everybody that's ever wanted to work on the bridge of a, of a Starfleet yeah. uh, ship. You're on the Aegis, a new ship, right, yeah. for this story. Not, so so not get, the Enterprise, but the Aegis. Right. Still, you're still driving something from the Starfleet. That's pretty and cool. The coolest moment right away, when you start, you don't just start on the bridge. You take a shuttle yeah. to your ship, yeah. and you take a little tour around it. You get to it, just ogle it. And all, right there, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Just seeing the majesty of the ship at dock, and, mm -hmm. and you're kind of circling it. Floating above Earth, and then you got blurbs with the history thrown in. You get the feeling it was made by a bunch of nerds, right? Which hey, is, four nerds. Which is what we yeah. want. Exactly. And like you said, it's a show, social game. We did it, you know, with us sitting there, you, me, Britt, we had a captain. Nobody got to be captain, unfortunately. But I we, feel like captain's the most challenging job. Uh, probably. So they had, they had somebody more experienced than us, you know, green thumbs under it. But we... Uh, we're told that this game is going to be playable, you know, online. So if you've got friends who have VR rigs anywhere in the world, you're right. all going to be able to join together or make new friends. Make new friends, find yeah. friends, yeah, who have VR. I do think there are going to be groups of four that get real good at this oh, and yeah. work like a well-oiled machine. We were not that. No, well, we were a poorly yeah. oiled machine <laughs> that. Exploded. Yeah, yeah, it froze <laughs> up a little bit. We got out of there with like 37% hull integrity, yeah, which well, is you like... Know, that's not that's, ideal. That's better than a... Thir that's a salvageable ship, okay, yeah. when it comes back to dry dock. It's, you know, you can fix that. Right. Probably. There's scraps you can use. It was mostly on fire. <laughs> but it's amazing to be able to look over and see a person, and that person moves like a person. I mean, even yeah. though you're looking at an avatar that is not, you know, it is not animated in any way. It's just taking motion from a from a headset and two controllers. Yeah. It looks you, you recognize it as being human movement. It's unbelievable. No, yeah. we like we were waving to each other at the beginning. Dancing with your hands. I, I totally Hand lost dancing. I totally lost like sense of where I was because when we hit warp drive I was like flailing around and you know the guy who was our captain was sitting to my left in VR. I banged him on the head right? with the haptic right behind me as we were doing it. So I was wild. like, oh my God, I forgot that you're you know a foot away from me and right. not on the other end of the room. Yeah. That's the experience that no one else is going to have. Only people that are at these kinds of things yeah. will have the With sitting in the same room for experience. VR rig. Well, yeah. I can imagine now a future where, like, you know, you used to have the land parties where we all get together and have massive people. If people, like, bring a VR-ready rig and you get four people playing it with each other, just yeah. sitting next to each other, that would be pretty There's awesome. There's VR back or backpack rigs now. Yeah, so yeah, they're all coming back out with that. Go on backpacking. <laughs> just take it, out. Onto take the, it out uh, in the woods and then pretend Star we're Trek. not in the woods. Yeah, so I It's would, enormously fun. Just being on the bridge, feeling like you're on the bridge, being able to look around, see your friends, just the idea that my hands are connected to my body and I can move them around in that space and I'm physically manipulating stuff. And the way that the controls look, like on my station, I don't know how your station looks, because mm -hmm. all of them are different. When I touched a um, something to scan, like the Klingon ship or the uh, escape pod that we're trying to rescue people in, it like 3 d mm, and yeah. came out and was 
it, it was it was like way even better than the TV show. Yeah, I had a little dial that I could flick back and forth that would bring up like a hologram of the ship with hull integrity. And I was yeah. just doing that when the captain wasn't paying attention to me. I was just like, yeah, hologram off. Oh, I often on. just fired torpedoes when the captain just wasn't looking. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna take initiative. And fire you're, a costing, you're costing Starfleet like a lot of credits there, dude. <laughs> yeah. So overall, though, VR experience totally immersive, totally fun, wish fulfillment, and yeah. I, I think they really just nailed what they were going for. I felt like a member of the Starship. Yeah, what it's more can you it's well. I'll tell you what more I can want. Okay, tell me. It, I that was just a small taste, and I felt like, my gosh, all this is gonna want make me want is more missions, more kinds of things. I want to like have an away crew that goes down on the planet's surface. I don't think that's what this game is gonna be, but you know, a fire broke out on the bridge at one point, and I was like, I wish I could grab a fire extinguisher yeah. and put it out. You know, I I'm I'm there. I feel like I'm here. All, I'm gonna want to do all of the things that I can do. So you're looking forward to that at like E3 2017, I mean, 2018. Yeah, give me, give me. A you're thinking content. way into the future. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. I, it is so transportive, and it makes me feel like I'm there. That I, I feel like I'm finally living the dream. Just now that this is a holodeck, you can have a holodeck inside the games. So you're like two levels deep holodeck. Did I just blow your mind? I'm just thinking of all the green women. <laughs> I would. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I would. All right, well, that's going to do it. Talking about Star Trek VR, thank you so awesome. much for coming in and experiencing it with me. We're not yeah. done, though. We're still going to do some more VR here for the rest of the day. I love it. Tune in to catch all that and our reactions to it.